Mount St. Helens is bulging. This is another warning given by USGS geologist Eruption Fears. He says, I have never seen anything like this. Geologist studying Mount St. Helens has admitted he fears the volcano could erupt again nearly four decades after it last had its devastating blast that was in 1980. This by Callum Hoare, Express UK. We know that at that time it was bulging and uh, it was also exuding a rock formation very rapidly every day before it exploded. On May 18, 1980, Mount St. Helens blew in the U.S. state of Washington. The eruption, which measured five on the volcanic explosivity index, the VEI index of five, had been declared as the most disastrous volcanic eruption in modern U.S. history. A huge column of ash rose 80,000 feet into the atmosphere, and it deposited ash in 11 United States. 57 people lost their lives from that and caused more than a billion, a billion dollars worth of damage. And now scientists fear that this could happen again. Dr. Donald Swanson, who works for the United States Geological Survey, the USGS, witnessed the aftermath of the last explosion. He described a the apocalyptic scene he witnessed two days after the main event on Mega Disasters Amazon documentary. He said this entire area of 230 square miles was totally devastated. There was not a living thing in that entire area, not an insect or a bird or an animal. There was only one color and it was gray. The ground was covered in rock and there were fumes everywhere. Dr. Swanson is now working alongside colleagues at USGS to monitor the activity of Mount St. Helens. The documentary went on to reveal how scientists are using an apparatus known as a spider to keep an eye on volcanic activity. Rick Lahusen, who is the man in charge of monitoring changes in the activity, the seismic activity throughout the, through this technology, explains it's a stainless steel superstructure that looks like a daddy long legs. This is a GPS antenna which receives timing signals from satellites and lets us locate exactly what is going on inside. The signals go into the computer system and then the data comes out at the request from computers back in the office. What's really phenomenal is how much rock is still coming out of the ground. It's coming up at five meters a day more than 200 meters wide, and it's right here in our own backyard, he says. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece. In Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.